and welcome back to another video. This week is quite an exciting week because Woody here and I are going to be going to crafts. Yeah, we're going to crafts, aren't we? Yeah, good job. If you don't know, crafts is the UK's largest dog show. It's actually an international uh, competition. It is held every year at the NEC in Birmingham and usually dogs aren't invited unless they're taking part uh, but Woody here, who is a working cocker spaniel has been invited by one of my clients, Eden Pet Foods um, to come and visit, so we're going to go, <laughs> aren't we? Yes! You excited for crafts? <laughs> if you are new here, Woody is just one of my three dogs I also have Henry who's a working cocker and Callie who is a cocker door, so a Labrador cross working cocker spaniel they won't be coming because Henry is blind and so crowds are a bit overwhelming for him and he bangs into things and Crofts is obviously a huge event so it's not really appropriate for him and Callie is also currently in season so there's no way we're taking her either but Woody here, yes, he's gonna have a great time I'm sure, we're gonna be taking the train up on Friday as well as the big dog show um, at Crufts, which is what the main sort of event is. There's also loads of agility competitions, fly ball, um, displays from like the police and assistance dog. I'm not sure if we'll be able to go and see much of that because Woody will be coming with me and those sort of areas are um, not like no dogs allowed apart from obviously the ones competing. But there's also five halls in Crufts and most of those have shopping stands. Um, so the main reason we're going is because, again, if you don't know me and you're new around here, I am a photographer specialising in photographing pets for advertising. So a lot of my clients are in the pet industry. So basically for me, Crufts is going to be a big game of... Um, I spy, <laughs> uh, where I'm going to go around and see all of my clients and see where and how they're using my images. But obviously we'll also go around and pick up some bits from the shopping section. I've got a little list of things I want to get. So Crafts is a four day event starting on Thursday the 9th of March this year. We're going on the Friday but we're going up and down in one day uh, via train. We should get there for Friday afternoon so we'll have a few hours there. Um, and I'm going to try and get as much done in that time and see as many stalls and as many people and dogs as possible. I am excited to go and see all the brands we know, all my clients and catch up with them so I'm kind of using this as an opportunity to make the most of that really. I am not sure if this bag is going to be big enough and the only other bag I have is a proper hiking bag is like double the size isn't it do i really want to be taking a hiking rucksack to crafts no i think that's a bit much yeah right in a minute when they've calmed down i'll show you what i've packed so far for a day at crafts okay my glamorous assistant who's not going to crafts and my other glamorous assistant who is going to crafts gonna show you what's inside here so, starting off, this is a dicky bag. This is kind of like a portable bin for poo bags, just in case uh, we get caught short or there's not enough bins or whatever, so that's just sort of clipped on there. Then I've also got a Henry Wag travel bowl for water. I'm sure there'll be loads of water at the Crufts itself, um, but like, again, for the train ride, I'm gonna fill this uh, flask with just boiling water and then in my bag, I've got uh, I've got tea bags here, so then I can fill up the tea when I want it, and it will be the right um, strength rather than having nice tea in the when we first get there, and then really stewy, horrible tea because it's been in a flask all day. So that's my plan for that. I'm gonna have a water bottle here, just one litre but hopefully that should be okay move my camera strap then basically I've got a lot of snacks because <laughs> I don't know um, how long we'll be because I'm going up and down in one day but um, uh, the, it's like an open return so we might get back quite late so got some sun bites 
These are peanut butter wraps. Um, Woody has got some Eden sausages, which are left over from the projects I worked on with them, which is why we're going to crafts with them. Oh my goodness, Woody's food just in case, although I'm sure he's gonna have so many free samples and uh, tastes at crafts, aren't you? Yes, because you do like your food. Yes, do you like snacks? Yes. And then these are some um, m and uh, snacks from the like bakery, which I like. Then I've got some charges and a uh, battery pack here. Um, and then I've also got some more snacks. <laughs> Uh, another packet of sun bites, some raisins, some of these. I love these at the moment. These Colin the Caterpillar Easter uh, sweets. Oi, don't eat them. They're for me. You've got loads of snacks. And there's another packet of Eden treats in there too. But if I bring that out, everyone's it's just going to turn to chaos again. Are you looking forward to crafts? Are you? You good boy. You looking forward to crafts? I'm sorry, Henry, you're not coming because you're blind and it's too overwhelming for you. We took him to oh, the Royal Cornwall show a few years ago and he just bumped into everyone and got so stressed out. Didn't you? It's okay though, because you stay with Callie and the favourite human. <laughs> crafts now we had such an amazing day it is a day and a bit later um, than the day we actually went <laughs> um, it's actually the last day of crafts today as I'm filming this um, but yeah I definitely needed a bit of time after our trip to kind of decompress and uh, like yeah get my energy back basically because it was such a great day but it was so overwhelming there were so many people and we went on the Friday, which is 
one of the quieter days like Saturday and Sunday are notoriously way busier so I'm glad we did a quieter day because it was still really busy Woody did so well though he was so well behaved he got obviously all the snacks and all the fuss he could possibly want in one day um and he was just a little trooper really in terms of like toileting dogs if your dog's invited to crafts there are like set areas with sawdust down which I didn't realize uh, we did meet up with my friend Beth who turned out to be my crafts guide because I couldn't cope <laughs> she would just like she's a crafts pro she goes every year and she absolutely loves it so she was showing me around and I'd tell her which brand I wanted to go and see and then she would take me there basically she was honestly a godsend having her there because the minute I walked in I was just like boom so overwhelmed um, I think that's also just having the added pressure of looking after Woody, making sure he's okay, because um, I noticed like quite a few people, especially when you've got bags, you can't necessarily see the floor, and because Woody's a cocker spaniel, he's quite small, um, and he's dark coloured, so he just sort of blended in a lot, so there was a lot of kind of like directing him through crowds and things like that, but on the whole we both had a fabulous time. You may be able to see behind me, we've got a little bit of a haul quick disclosure some of this stuff I purchased myself some of it was gifted by my clients and other bits were freebies um, from purchases that I made at crafts um, I definitely didn't have time to look around like and watch any of the dog shows and things like that some of the displays in like the main arena you can't go in if you have a dog with you um, apart from obviously assistance dogs uh, which is fair enough. Um, I definitely think you need like a couple days. I can understand now why people say that because it is so huge and you definitely can't get round it in a few hours like we did. Our train got there for about one o'clock and cross shuts at 6 p.m. every day. So we only had a few hours to get round. But I mean, my bank balance <laughs> was still, uh, still suffered, but it's all stuff hope that we will use and um, arguably ran out of in the lead up to crafts so I just didn't purchase it because at crafts most brands will have really good discounts on um, so it's definitely worth looking at that but also if you can't make it to crafts you can also um, head over to their social media not crafts the brand you're looking at and usually they'll have a discount online as well in um, in alignment with what they are offering at the standard crafts so that's always a good thing to check out as well and also sometimes it extends into the week after crafts so yeah that's another little tip of mine anyway let's get into this crafts haul so here we have it this is a lot for me <laughs> although as you'll see a lot of it is kind of bulk purchases because again there were a lot of offers on at crafts which we made the most of. I was going to separate it into things I purchased myself and then the freebies slash gifts from some of my photography clients but I figured it would probably be easier just to go around brand by brand and tell you what I got and how I purchased it or how I acquired it should I say. Um, so we'll start with Eden which is the company that invited Woody along. So we've got, let me hold, we've got this is all gifted, apart from these three antlers, which I bought from the Eden stand. We have a trio of dogs that love antlers, so we have to make sure we always have some. Um, but everything else from the Eden stand was kindly gifted. So we have some of their, ooh, <laughs> we have some of their venison and sage training treats. These are the chicken and time treats I was using on the day with Woody. Honestly, he absolutely loved the Eden stand. He was getting fed left, right and centre. Um, but yeah, these are these are really good and Woody approves. We've also got a packet of each of their flavours of sausages. The training treats and the sausages are the new range that they were launching at Crafts and I worked on a project with Eden uh, for photography and video in the lead up to Crufts so that they could launch it. Uh, you will have seen the photos I took on their stand and they actually won trade stand competition for their category. So I like to think my images helped along the way. So yeah, that's that's that. We also, they also gifted us one antler. 
Um, so we will either find another dog who likes antlers or just save that for when our current three are um, done with. <laughs> and then these are lots of free samples. So I think you could have picked these up from the stand yourself. Um, but this is their semi-moist range of uh, dog food. And then we've also got their like cuisine range here. I'll probably use these as treats because the packets are, I don't know how many grams they are, 100 grams. So these will fit quite well into like a, tra tra uh, a training bag or a treat bag for walks or even actually these would be really, oh, <laughs> even actually these would probably be really good when we're camping and stuff or on hikes and need a, like a lunch for the dogs or something. So that's really kind of them to gift us those. And yeah, we'll go on to Door West. So this is the Omega Star Oil, which has really helped Woody's coat since he's been neutered. Here's the back if you want to pause it and find out more. Um, but yeah, since Woody's since Woody was neutered, his coat really puffed out. But um, I started using this Omega Star Oil as recommended by Door West. And honestly, we see such a transformation. I'll try and put up a before and after photo of Woody on the screen so you can see. So yes, they kindly gifted me two of those because I worked with them on their latest catalog. And they also kindly gifted me their new shampoo bars. We got the Fox and Flea one, which is eucalyptus, peppermint, and lemongrass essential oils. Again, oh, <laughs> so yeah, here's just the packaging if you want to pause it and find out more. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be, again, something that would be oh, <laughs> good for camping or actually just putting in my photography bag in case dogs roll in something or need a quick clean uh, between photos. So I'm really grateful for being gifted those. As you can see behind them, <laughs> we've got three Equa fleeces that I mildly uh, impulsively bought, but also our current fleeces are getting a bit tatty. So I got the um, lilac, heather, I think it's called Heather colour for Cali, this grey for Woody and the Loden green for Henry and it's the dog suit so it's got four legs like this. And then next we have Tasty Bone which I also purchased. This is a uh, Tika Quattro Bone which Cali seems to absolutely love. I've got her old one here, this is the smaller size but you can see how much she's loved it, especially this side. I don't know why she prefers that texture. Um, so I bought her a replacement one, but a larger one. And this was on offer, I think for like 12 pounds? No, 10 pounds maybe. I can't quite remember, but usually they're 15. And then after I purchased that, I found these ones in their clearance bin, which are two of their dental uh, trio bone range. Got peppermint and cinnamon mint. I was intrigued by the flavors. This one is more the size they recommend for spaniels, um, but I sometimes just get a larger size anyway, hoping that it will last longer. So that's that. These here are from Animology. They gave us some free samples. I did actually have a meeting with the team at Animology about a project that we're going to be working on. So they kindly gave me these samples as well as their really cool tote bag that I don't have to hand. Then we went to Gentle, which is a cold press food company that are based in Devon. And I picked up these um, bones. Basically the weight of these is one portion of a meal for our dogs. So we can take them, again, we can take them out camping and you don't have to have a bag because they're a lot more compact and you just give them a bone and they've basically had their dinner. And with my purchase from them, I got a roll of poo bags. Not sure what brand this is, but we love poo bags. <laughs> Definitely use those. JR Pet Products, we bought some beef tails because we'd run out. And I also found this packet of like 25 hairy cow ears, which we absolutely go through like no tomorrow. Um, the dogs always have a cow ear if we are heading out. You can probably hear Callie in the background, I'll let her in in a minute. Um, so yeah, I was delighted to find such a big bag of them because usually online they come in packs of three. So I hope this big bag is something that they're going to continue. And then Woody stole 
Woody shoplifted this ostrich, I think it's ostrich skin or ostrich tendon treat. So he'd already, um, he already shoplifted another of their treats and ate it at the stand. Um, so I took this one off him, but they said we could keep it. And then as part of our, our purchase, because it was over 50 pounds, they were doing an offer where you get these lamb pizzle twists. I'm excited that there are three of them, so we won't have any arguments uh, when the dogs try those. And then also because JR are, are one of my photography clients, I've worked with them for a couple years now, uh, they kindly gave us some braided lamb that wasn't quite up to retail standard, but obviously the dogs will still enjoy those. And then I think finally we've got Arden Grange. These are, I'm obsessed with these liver treats. They are so handy and so compact. They just fit really nicely in my dog walking bag. Um, I actually took some with me on the train for Woody and they're just, they don't smell too much. They're fairly clean because the dog can just lick the end. Um, but you sell them in packs of 12 and on their website, including shipping, it was about £40. Um, but actually at Crufts, we managed to get all 12 for £18. So obviously that was a real steal. I'm going to see how long 12 lasts me. I'm hoping it will last me a year. And then I can go to Crufts next year and replenish our stock. And then with the um, purchase, we also got a free sample of their sensitive adult uh, food so yeah that is just about everything that we acquired at Crofts this year if you are planning to go to Crofts for the shopping element I would highly recommend uh, taking stock of all your uh, like supplies at home before you go but also making a wish list because honestly, Crufts is such a big event, it's really easy to get distracted and head off to different stands or accidentally miss someone. There, there are a couple brands that I uh, didn't realise until I got home that I forgot to go and see, because we just didn't have time. But luckily I did manage to write a list of all the purchases that I definitely wanted to make. So things like the beef tails, cow ears, the Arden Grange treats and the Quattro Bone. So I definitely knew I had to go to those stands to see them in order to like obviously buy the products. But also what I did was before I went, I looked up the prices of them online so I could see whether it was a really good deal that I had to get there and there or whether it was something that wasn't too dissimilar in price online usually, in which case I would have probably left it and bought it online because, because as we took the train, Obviously, I was limited to how much I could buy. I mean, I still managed to buy a fair amount, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I was just conscious that anything I did buy on the day, I would have to love back with me on the train with Woody as well. So yeah, I think we did all right. <laughs> um, but I would definitely recommend going to Crufts. Um, I am now looking forward to next year already and the actual Crofts 2023 event while I'm filming hasn't actually finished yet. I'm definitely hooked now, so yes, <laughs> we shall see. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Crofts or any questions about my work and what I do in terms of photography and videography for the pet industry, please leave them in a comment and I will answer them. And yeah, let me know if you've been to Crufts before, if you went to Crufts this year, what was your favourite part? Did you make any purchases? What's your like most, what's your proudest purchase of the year maybe? I'd love to hear it because I do enjoy watching other people's Crufts hauls, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon.